The most famous reindeer of all Charles. Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer Had a very shiny nose Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma. Thank you so much for clicking on today's video. As you saw by the title and the thumbnail, I'm going to be giving you guys 80 different stocking stuffer ideas for the holidays. Most of these are perfect for stockings because they can get quite small. And then of course, there's other gift ideas to give you guys because I wanted to do even more. We all know it gets to this time of the year and we're all clueless about what we want to get, what we want to give as well. I got you and I have 80 different ideas for you guys today. I have an Instagram, a TikTok, and a Etsy sticker shop, which you can shop for the holidays as well. And those will be on the screen. Other than that, please subscribe and give this video a thumbs up to support me. It takes two seconds and enough rambling. Let's get right into this video. The first idea that I have for you guys is a Billy razor or any other brand of razors that you might like. I know there's really cool subscription boxes for razors as well that come with little shaving cream, extra razor heads, and I know that the Billy brand has really great ones as well. If you've been eyeing a razor brand, that's a great thing to ask for in your stocking. Next, I have a skincare headband. I'm sure you've seen like Kylie Jenner wear these. She has one from her own brand, but you could of course get other headbands. They're basically this cloth fabric and you put it on every time you do your skincare. I know there's some with little cat ears and there's just the basic ones that allows your skincare to not like seep into your hair or water to get on there as well. You can ask for press on nails. I know with quarantine and with all that kind of stuff, it's kind of tough to get your nails done all the time. So I know that there's glue on nails that you obviously put glue on them and those stay on pretty well and they have some cute designs. So you could always ask for some press on nails to get a manicure, but at home, you can ask for a mini perfume, maybe a sampler, maybe one of the smaller sizes. Victoria's Secret has some of those. I'm sure you can find some mini sizes on Ulta. And just one that's quite small, maybe a sampler because those would fit in your stocking and can be a lot more affordable than a full-sized one. To go along with the press on nails kind of category, you can ask for a coupon or for 20 bucks, 30 bucks, whatever your nail place charges, and you can ask for a coupon or just some money that allows you to go and get your appointment, and that would be a great thing to get in your stocking, I think. You can ask for masks, aka the COVID face masks, and there's a lot of cute ones. I know you can get some really cute ones from Etsy, and I know that there's a brand called My Kitsch, and they have really cute patterns. I'm sure you've seen them around. I would love those masks, and masks are very useful thing to get for obvious reasons. You can ask for a portable charger. I know these are a really useful gift and are pretty small so they're perfect to get in your stocking and we all know the struggle of running out of battery outside or when we're not at home and we don't have a charger so a portable one would be a perfect thing to just plug in your phone whenever you lose battery. Or this one is more pricey but it's kind of related to that. There's also those charger cases that you put your phone in the case and it's already charging because it's got the little battery pack on the back. Whatever you prefer and whatever makes more sense with your price range. You can ask for barrettes or hair clips. These are really popular lately and you can get really cute sets of them to spice up your hairstyle. You can ask for a scalp massager. I've seen these on TikTok videos and they're basically those scalp massagers that you take to the shower and they have a little handle and they have little spikes, kind of like a little hairbrush and it massages your scalp and it helps your shampoo like really get in there. You can ask for nail polish if you like doing your own nails and if you know how. A nail polish is always an easy, safe bet. You can get body scrubs. I know obviously Lush has amazing body scrubs. There's those tree hut scrubs that come in the little pots and I think those are actually pretty affordable and I see them everywhere on TikTok. So you can get the tree hut ones, the truly beauty ones, Victoria's Secret pink, honestly, whatever you like. If you're eyeing a scrub, that would be very helpful. Those usually smell so good and are great for exfoliation. You could get a ring or a necklace with your initials. Those are so, so pretty and you can customize it to whatever letter your name starts with. You can get or gift a makeup pouch or like a makeup cosmetics bag. Those would fit in a stocking, I'm pretty sure, and you can get like a mini size. And I know those can also work as pencil cases for school, so really whatever floats your boat. And I know they come in a lot of cute patterns. You can ask for a bandana. I know you guys must have seen those hairstyles that are all over Pinterest with the bandanas, and I think they look so cute. Having one would be so versatile, and you can get one with whatever pattern you like, or maybe a color that matches your vibe or your outfits. Those would be a perfect addition to a hairstyle. You can ask for a mini dry shampoo or a mini hair product if you like to do your hair or if you're running out of a product that you might like. Those are usually pretty thin bottles so they can kind of fit in there. And a dry shampoo you can never go wrong with in my opinion. You can get scrunchies. This is obviously pretty basic, but if you've been eyeing some or you found some cute ones, I know the velvet scrunchies are obviously very adorable and they're a useful gift as well. You can ask for or get the Mario Badescu drying lotion. If you've heard Hiram talk about this before, he does like this product a lot and it's basically a spot treatment. If you have a blemish, you can put that 
on the blemish and then go to sleep and it does help dry out the pimple I can say that it is a helpful product because I use it sometimes still on the skincare wavelength you can ask for CeraVe skincare if you've been living under a rock this is obviously a very popular skincare brand Hiram is recommending it and it seems to have amazing results so if you want to try that out maybe that's a good thing to ask for because it should fit into your stocking maybe you can get a mini version you can ask for a coupon to a hair place similar to the nail salon one if you have a hair place if you want to get your hair dyed maybe just get like a blowout on your hair whatever you like coupon or some money or something to go get your hair done since hair places are so expensive and for what <laughs> You can ask for candles, obviously you can get some mini ones, maybe that would fit in your stocking better, but those are always solid gifts. You can ask for a lip gloss that you might like, this is always a perfect stocking stuffer gift because they're pretty small, but you can get maybe a Fenty lip gloss, the Glossier one. So whatever lip gloss you might have been eyeing, that's always a great gift option to give to someone or to ask for. You can get a bralette or like an undershirt, I know you can get like really basic ribbed ones or you can even get some Calvin Klein bralettes, whatever you like, a lot of those can you can cover them up with like a jean jacket or something and they can make cute outfits depending on whatever your style is. You can ask for fuzzy socks. This one is a basic but it's honestly a must. Fuzzy socks during the winter are it and they fit perfectly in a stocking. Obviously sock inside of a sock you're doing great and I know you can get some really cute ones or get the aloe vera infused socks. I have those and they're the perfect sock. You can get a set of makeup brushes, maybe a smaller set or maybe one specific makeup brush if you've been eyeing one. For example, this type of really cool makeup brush, it's a brush at the top and then it's got a beauty blender at the bottom. These are super cool and you can get a bunch of different type of brushes that fit perfectly inside your stocking. You can get a face tool set. These sets usually come with a jade roller and the gua sha, I believe I'm saying that correctly. Tools that kind of help lift your face and help blood circulation, help your products seep into your skin. You've seen those all before, but those sets would be so perfect. You can get Victoria's Secret slippers. These can be a little bit more on the pricey side or even big, so they can be a regular gift also, but I think they would fit in a stocking if you tried. There's so many cute pattern ones and I think they're classic. You can get yourself some jewelry, you can get jewelry from Hannah Malosha's line, Starlight Village, you can get some stuff from Honey by Lex, you can get stuff from Precious by Kate. Those are just three like YouTuber owned jewelry brands and then of course there's some more affordable ones but jewelry is always a good little thing to pop into a stocking. You can get a pop socket ring, they usually come in those like little metallic colors, you can get a rose gold, whatever you like and they're the rings that sit at the back of your phone then you could hold them just by putting your hand through the ring. You can ask for a beauty blender to do your makeup, maybe you have an old one or maybe you like those silicone ones that people sell. Those are usually pretty affordable and they're a good stocking stuffer gift. You can ask for bath bombs. I know people make them on Etsy and then of course Lush is the best store for bath bombs. Whatever you like, getting a little bath bomb in your stocking would be kind of fun if I do say so myself. You can get little plastic face shavers. I know they come in little sets. You can get them from Amazon and they're pretty affordable and you can use them to do your eyebrows, to shave your face if you do that or if you want to try always a useful little gift or maybe you can get it for yourself and sneak it in the stocking and act like it was a gift you can get oil blotting sheets maybe if you work out or if you do some sort of sport or if at the end of the day you're extremely oily maybe if you go to school maybe if you're at work whatever it may be oil blotting sheets can come in little packages and they're super affordable you can get them for under five dollars and you just kind of dab them on your skin and it helps absorb some oil that built up during the day you can ask for gel polish this is kind of similar to the nail polish but these dry more like gel so maybe if you know how to do your own nails, you can ask for gel polish. I also just came up with another one. You can ask for those blue lights that they have at nail salons. If you know how to do your own nails, you can get the polish, you can get little dip powders, and you can get the blue light thing that you stick your hand into at the nail salons and maybe you can do your own nails and make that a little hobby. You can get scented lotions or soaps. This is a basic gift and I feel like you get them a lot but there's a lot of holiday sets from Burt's Bees all the way to lotions from Bath and Body Works or you can get little soaps. Maybe you have your own bathroom and you want to get those foaming soaps. Bath and Body Works is perfect for all those types of gifts. Maybe you like their wallflowers as well. The holiday scents and lotions and perfumes and wallflowers, whatever you might like, are perfect for gifts and they're pretty small as well. You can get a Tweaksy. If you've never heard of this before, it's a little silicone 
ring type of thing and you can put it on your finger and you can pop a little nail polish in there and it basically holds it for you while you're doing your nails i'll put it on the screen but i think it's a really cool invention and it's a perfect little stocking stuffer because it's super affordable and small you can get a wet brush to brush your hair if you've never seen them before they're brushes that kind of help detangle your hair and they come in a bunch of different designs you can ask for gloves if you live in a place where it gets cold gloves are always a useful gift to throw in there then i wrote down a beanie which is yet again a useful idea for you guys during the winter if it gets really cold where you live those are always useful and easy to wrap up and throw in a stocking these are pretty similar to the hair clips but you can get the barrettes you can get the little clicky hair clips or just the long like bracket looking barrettes whatever you like hair clips are always a good idea this one's a classic and a pretty basic one. You can ask for just chapstick. I don't know about you guys, but during the winter, my lips get extremely chapped, so you can ask for a bunch of different chapsticks. These are just three different options that I just like popped out of my drawer. You can get Burt's Bees chapstick. I know they have lots of holiday flavors. They have like gingerbread and eggnog and a bunch of yummy little holiday flavors. You can get obviously the Eos ones. You can get Glossier. Whatever chapstick you've been eyeing would be a good stocking stuffer and to give to other people. I feel like chapstick sets are always an easy bet. The next stocking stuffer idea that I have for you guys are tools or products from the brand called Flawless. This isn't sponsored obviously, but, Fla but Flawless is this brand that I recently found that has really cool products. I know they have a bunch of face scrubbers. They also have things related to shaving, but, but those would be awesome Christmas gifts. They don't even have to be for stockings, kind of like all of these gifts anyway. You can get an exfoliation brush. So these usually have like a wooden back and a little strap to hold for the shower. And then basically you exfoliate your legs with it. It helps a bunch of things like blood flow. It helps your legs be smoother for when you shave them. Whatever it is that you're looking for, exfoliating has so many different benefits. And these brushes are pretty affordable. You can ask for a face mask set. Face masks are yet again another pretty basic, pretty classic type of gift, but they always work out well. There's obviously stuff on Amazon, Ulta, Sephora, wherever you wanna buy your face masks from, but you can get lots of different types. There's obviously the face masks from Lush, which are amazing, and they come in little small pots, so they'd be perfect for stocking stuffers. So many different types, and there's also those cool little gifts. This one wouldn't be a stocking stuffer, but another gift idea that I have for you guys would be those little face mask maker machines where you pour in the little thing and then it makes a face mask shaped like little face and you can pour lots of different types of face masks on there. Any type of face mask that you like, obviously a good gift. You can ask for a self tanner, maybe you wanna try it out. You can get those self tanning drops. I think they're pretty affordable or you can ask for like self tan lotion if you are maybe running out of yours or if you wanna try it out, especially during the winter because I'm as pale as a ghost, for example. <laughs> you can ask for heated socks that warm up. If you live in a cold area, those would be really cool, technologically advanced gifts, but also very useful. You can ask for Laneige products. I know Laneige has so many different amazing products and they have those little lip balms with the clear poppers and they also have the really popular Laneige sleeping mask, which is something that I personally would love to receive. Basically, it's a little mask that you put on your lips before you go to sleep and it helps hydrate and all that. Laneige overall just has a bunch of different tiny but amazing products. And tiny is a great type of product to have on this list because stocking stuffers. You can ask for a cloth hair towel that flips over and ties. I actually have one of these, let me go get it. There's a bunch of different colors, obviously, and these are also super affordable, by the way. You can find them in many different places, but they have a little button at the top. And they have a little elastic band that you kind of tie over, and basically what it does is you put it over your hair and you can flip it over and tie so that it kind of holds your hair into the little cloth instead of having a huge towel turban over your head. These are super useful and they're very affordable, and as you can see, they fit into a stocking perfectly. You can ask for skincare by The Inky List or Paula's Choice Skincare. These are two brands that once again, Skincare by Hiram recommends and I've heard that these are really good. And I know that The Inky List has lots of salicylic acid toners and lots of different products like that that Hiram really recommends. And I do know that they are also very tiny and affordable, so perfect for stocking stuffers if you wanna try out some new skincare. You can ask for Tarte Shape Tape Concealer if you've never tried it or maybe you love it and you're running out. Tarte Shape Tape is a really popular concealer by Tarte, obviously. 
kind of pick out your shade, maybe let people know what it might be. Obviously concealer, so it's in a tiny tube and it's obviously really useful if you do your makeup and you use concealer. You can get yourself some hand sanitizers, obviously. The world right now is in need of more hand sanitizers, so if you can come across like little sets with baby hand sanitizers or even those mini ones by Bath & Body Works with the covers that you can tie to your bag, honestly whatever you're able to find, hand sanitizers are very helpful. And there's also foaming hand sanitizers that exist and those are very cool. So any type of hand sanitizer would be nice, honestly, and maybe you can get some good scents. You can ask for a scarf, yet again, another winter-related gift that you can wear, so it'd be super helpful, useful, and practical. <laughs> That's pretty self-explanatory. Maybe you're looking into a certain pattern. I know the scarves that are completely rounded are better in my opinion because you can just twist them twice over your neck and wear them without having to fiddle around with all the different ends. Now we're gonna move on to the next category which would be the useful, practical. A lot of these are pretty miscellaneous but there's some decor in there, there's some kitchen gadgets and there's also food. We're kind of steering away from the beauty category a little bit and going into this one. So this idea that I have for you guys is really creative and fun and they're basically plug-in salt lamps. You can find these on Amazon but instead of a full-on big salt lamp there's some plug-in ones so they still have the same little air quality benefits and all that kind of stuff and you can put them onto a little socket and they just light up like that. Those those look so cool. They're a little bit more small and low-key than a full-on salt lamp if you don't have space for that. You can get some prints for yourself. These would fit in the stocking, but I know lots of people make prints on Etsy, lots of digital artists and all that kind of stuff. So if you want to support a small business, there's lots of different prints that you can get. You can get little ornaments with people's names. So if you're gifting, you can get someone else's name or if you're asking for one, an ornament with my name on it or a personalized ornament is always an amazing gift to put into a stocking and to add to your Christmas tree every year. Maybe you can add 2020 in there, even though it's an absolute cursed number that I never want to hear again. <laughs> My next idea is a keychain. You can again get an initial keychain. Maybe if your name starts with an E, you can get an E or vice versa, but keychains are always practical gifts. You can add them to your keys, obviously, and you may even be able to get some personalized ones. There's keychains with photos. There's keychains that are Christmas themed, whatever you may like. You can ask for a computer mouse. If you you don't have one or if you have an old one and you need a new one this is obviously a good gift to ask for and it's a tiny little gadget so it fits into your stocking there's so many different colors you can get so you can kind of have it match your setup match your vibe whatever it is that you like and this one's actually really cool because it's pretty small and it doesn't make really loud clicking noises it's just like a quiet mouse very discreet very sleek Whatever you may like, a computer mouse is a helpful gift. You can get a tea diffuser ball, basically. You can get these on Amazon and lots of other stores, I'm sure. They look like stainless steel, but they're a little mesh ball that you can put herbs and other things into, and you can dip it into boiling water to make your own tea out of herbs. Diffuses the herbs and the properties and all the flavors into your tea, or if you love making your own tea, I think that's a pretty fun gift to get. Another simple gift is gum. I feel like you can never go wrong with gum, and you can also never have too much. It's it's an easy thing to pop into a stocking and I feel like the majority of people would appreciate it. You can get a little latte frother or an electric mixer. I've seen these a lot and they're super cool. If you make lattes or if you like coffee, they're basically little frothers that move super, super fast once you press them and they can foam up your drink and make it whipped or whatever it is that you like. The next stocking stuffer idea that I have are essential oils. This one's a pretty basic one, but they're very tiny. You can get little packs. You can get maybe peppermint, vanilla, whatever Christmas scents you come across. But if you know someone has a diffuser or if you're giving someone a diffuser, you can pop some essential oils in their stocking. You can get charger eaters. Basically, if you've never seen them, these are little silicone animals that you put at the top of your charger to make sure that it doesn't bend or break. So basically they keep your your charger straight whenever you're charging your tablet, phone, whatever you're charging. They're also very cute so they add a lot in that sense and they're obviously very affordable because they're tiny little animals. The next idea is chocolate. This one's a basic and it's obviously classic for Christmas as well but if you know someone likes chocolate you can get them their favorite one. You can get the Ferrero Rocher chocolates. Those are great I've heard. You can get little tiny packs of chocolates or maybe some Christmas Santas, whatever you celebrate, whatever you like. You can get a phone case, maybe a winter themed one or a Christmas, whatever holiday the person likes, 
You can get them from Casetify, you can get them from Wildflower, and of course you can get them from small businesses on Etsy. I know people make custom ones and they're so, so cute. You can even get custom phone cases with your face on them and your friend's face on it, and that would be an amazing gift, maybe some pictures of you guys. You can get someone little crystal. You know people are into like spiritual crystal, law of attraction, whatever it may be. You can get them a tiny crystal that matches maybe their birthstone or whatever. I don't know much about it, but they seem like a really cool gift to get. You can get a mini card game depending on whatever you like to play with that person or that person's age you can get a mini uno a mini cards against humanity whatever somebody might like to play a card game is always a really fun gift and then you could play it on christmas day you can also get a mini back massager those are really cool you can put like batteries in them and they massage your back you can get someone Polaroid film. If you know somebody has a Polaroid or if you're gifting them one, film is obviously a little bit more on the pricey side, I guess. So maybe you can get some film refills for their Polaroid and pop them in the stocking. You can get a Christmas Starbucks cup. I know lots of small businesses on Etsy sell custom Starbucks cups or you can buy little reusable tumblers for someone, maybe something small and pop it in the frosting. Pop it in the frosting? <laughs> pop it in their stocking. This one is a basic for stockings, but obviously gift cards. You can get somebody a Starbucks gift card, a Visa if you wanna spoil them a little bit, Ulta, GameStop, whatever kind of gift cards your person might like, or you can ask them for yourself, obviously. You can get someone candy in their stocking. That's again, a basic, there's lots of Christmas themed candy. You can get candy canes, you can get whatever it is that someone might like. Now there's nerd clusters. Those sound absolutely amazing. So they're like a nerd rope but into tiny circles so you can kind of eat them with little bites hey those candies look i just like slapped myself in the nose those candies look chef's kiss you can give someone a toothbrush this sounds like a boring gift but obviously it is very useful maybe they don't have an electric one and you can get them an electric toothbrush or you can get them those bamboo toothbrushes that are much better for the environment obviously they're a useful gift because who wants to buy their own toothbrush you can ask for or get someone squishmallows. If so those little fluffy cloud like <laughs> this sounds like a commercial are really fluffy little stuffed animals and you can get them at BJ's, Costco. I think they sell them at Five Below, maybe even Amazon, I'm not sure. Either way, they have little mini versions and if somebody likes stuffed animals, I feel like you can never have too many and you're also never too old for stuffed animals. So, that would be a good stocking stuffer idea. You can get someone hot chocolate dunking spoons. So these are basically wooden spoons that already have hardened chocolate at the top. They usually have little peppermint sprinkles or other little marshmallows on them. And you can get them from Etsy, I believe. And a lot of different people make these. Basically, you unwrap the little spoon and you dip it and mix into your hot chocolate. And then the chocolate like melts into it and all the little toppings do as well. That would be a perfect winter gift. And those should be pretty affordable. To go along with the hot chocolate craze, you can get someone hot chocolate bomb molds. If you have not seen the hot chocolate bombs going around everywhere, they basically have chocolate shells on the outside and then hot cocoa powder, marshmallows, other toppings inside. And you pop them into your mug when you're drinking hot chocolate and it should all kind of like melt away. Most of the time they require molds for recipes so you can get them a little mold to make their own hot chocolate bombs if they're into cooking or baking. I also put an electric mixer in here. That one would definitely not fit into your stocking but you can get somebody a mixer if you do have that money or if you want to save up for it and you want to get a blender make your own smoothies or get a mixer if you are into baking and you want to get more into it this one's an idea that's not even a stocking stuffer but enjoy you can get a sleep mask those are the like fuzzy or even silky little sleep masks that you put on your eyes and they block out any light so if you're the type of person who needs to sleep in pitch black because the light bothers you or something you can always put those and they look very fun and glamorous you can get a pop socket i did mention a pop socket ring but you can also get the basic circle like pop plastic pop sockets i know you can get custom ones and those are really cute you can also give someone money if you don't really know what to put in their stocking or what to ask for in your stocking Maybe you can get like 10, 20 bucks depending on your budget for the stockings, but money is obviously very useful and you can use it to save up to invest in something that you're looking to buy. You can get someone popcorn. I don't think there's a lot of people who don't like it. So it would be a nice gift. And there's obviously like the candied popcorn and those taste so good, like the sweet popcorns. And of course there's little holiday sets that you can get. You can ask for some baking supplies, maybe a set or give baking supplies, maybe a stocking stuffer idea for a mom or grandma or absolutely 
absolutely anyone who honestly likes to bake. And while you're at it, you can take a look at Rosanna Pansino's website because I do know that she has sold lots of different baking supplies that might be perfect for a stocking. You can ask for a mini ring light, which is actually what I use. Just a tiny ring light that works for selfies, TikToks, YouTube, if you film on your phone, whatever it might be, it's very, very useful. You can ask for an AirPods case or give an AirPods case if you know somebody is either getting AirPods or has them already. A new case would always be a really fun gift to get to spice up your AirPods and obviously it's small, pretty affordable, can fit in a stocking, you're good to go. I also added Lush products in here. I talked about these a lot, but if you want to get bath jelly or those like melting oils, whatever, if you know somebody likes Lush, it's always an easy way to go. You can ask for pepper spray. This one is kind of morbid, but honestly, maybe you're in college, maybe you just want to have some to be safe. You can get little thing of pepper spray. It's always better to be safe than sorry. It's a very important thing to own, in my opinion. Could always put that in a stocking. You can get a card holder that sticks to the back of your phone. If you haven't seen these, they basically have a little sticky part and you can kind of stick your cards, maybe some money, stick some paper in there, whatever you might need to remember or keep track of. But again, a very useful gift for almost anyone. You can get a mini notebook or a little notepad to write your dreams in. I'm sure you can get specific books for that or maybe vague journals. I think writing your dreams when you wake up is a really cool thing to do. So maybe you wanna try that and get a little notepad for someone. You can get a fidget toy, maybe for someone who might need it or somebody who likes it, maybe someone who has ADHD, whatever it may be. There's lots of little fidget cubes, lots of spinners, whatever you might wanna get for someone. And they're obviously small and affordable. You can get an Apple Watch band if somebody has an Apple Watch and they've had the same band for a long time. This is a tongue twister right here, but a brand new band for the Apple Watch. You can get a little electric lighter. This one would be more of a useful gift for somebody who owns a home maybe. But basically there's these electric lighters on Amazon and instead of them running out and having to throw them out, you can charge them over and over and they always have little fire. So if you like to light candles, that would be a very useful thing to put in like a dad's stocking, a mom's stocking, whatever it may be. You can get one of those head massagers. They have a little thing that you hold and then they have a bunch of little claw looking things and then it goes like this and massages your head. Or you can get one of those back scratchers that pop out and then you can use it to scratch your back. <laughs> Then you can give or ask for washi tapes. If you haven't seen these, I have some, but I don't wanna go and get them because I'm lazy. They're basically little washi tapes that you can use for bullet journaling. If you know somebody's into art, they make cards, they wanna decorate things. Washi tapes are perfect for planning. You can get lots of different patterned ones on Amazon. And there's obviously little sets with cute patterns and colors that you can pop into a stocking and it should be very affordable also. And last but not least, I have a stationary set, a mini stationary set for you guys. I know Yubi has those kinds of products and there's a brand called U Brands that also has a bunch of stationary things. You can get a mini kit that comes with push pins, paper clips, post-its, whatever it may be. And those are always very fun for somebody who likes stationery. And that was it. Those were all my ideas for you guys. I hope you enjoyed them. I'm sorry I talked for so long. <laughs> Either way, I hope you found some stocking stuffer ideas to maybe ask for, to give to your friends. Maybe if you're a parent and you wanna find some stocking stuffers to give to your teens or to give to your kids or your friends, whatever it may be. Of course, Christmas and the holidays are about spending time with your family, about God, and not about gifts, obviously, but I did want to give you guys some ideas for around the holidays. So thank you so much for watching. If you watched all the way up to here, I really, really appreciate you. And don't click off the video yet. Stop right there, scroll down, and give this video a thumbs up. It takes two seconds, and it really, really supports me and would make me very happy. I would truly appreciate it. And while you're at it, if you want to subscribe, check out my other videos, see if you like that type of content, I would love for you to stick around and hang out. We're on the road to 2,000 subscribers, and that's insane to say but yeah thank you so much for all the support i have an etsy shop you can also get stickers for your stockings from there i sell my own stickers so that will be in the description and on the screen for you guys as well as my tiktok and instagram social medias it's all in the description you know how it is basic boring annoying youtuber stuff that is all i have for you guys today remember you are beautiful you are amazing you are loved and i will see you all in the next video take care bye guys Mrs. Ah.